Hello again, everybody. What's up, guys? Obligatory intro to YouTube. Uh, yeah, hey, it's the memory lapse. We're jumping into a quick constructed event. We're going to try to speed run a six, six or seven wins here with our 25 land bug explore deck. So without further introduction, let's just jump into a game. Hope everyone's doing well today. It's been a nice full day for me. It's Saturday, it's warm today, we got the AC on. Mm. Going first, this is a little loose if our opponent is red. I think I'll keep it, but it is probably the type of hand that this deck should mulligan considering we run like 20 effective two drops. Oh, not punished. At least yet. So let's play the swamp in case we want this moment of craving. Yeah, so great day. It's it's uh Memorial Day weekend. Took the dog to the park this morning, beautiful morning. Came back, streamed. Uh, we want lands, so had a nice stream, streamed with this deck, got a lot of winning done, made some changes, recorded the deck tech. And we got like a nice break too, where we just did a bunch of homebrew maintenance, cleaning out kegs, working on a fresh batch of ginger ale that we're going to blend into our uh, homemade kombucha later today. What was that? Okay, Doomfall. Alright. Uh, I don't think that they're likely to be entirely creatureless, so I think the Chupacabra will have some value later on. Let's just hope we rip land so we can slam Liliana. Yeah, of course they have Karn here. That was maybe a reason to keep Contempt, but I really wanted to keep the land flowing. Hmm. I guess we give them... Moment of Craving. Uh, yuck. Maybe there was an argument to giving them the other spell where they'd have to tap out, but I think I want them to like have to minus one to get their tutor. That tutor seems pretty questionable. And so the w the one weakness from this deck we learned is uh I think it's probably decent or only slightly disadvantaged against full on blue white control, but we had a couple games against uh Yeah, go ahead. They can take Liliana here, which sucks. We had a couple games against Approach, which I haven't played against in a while. Well, I, I played against it with blue-white control, and I always crush it, but where our opponent just had, like, approach into approach, and we have zero ways to interact with that. Ugh, wow. This is a little bit of a bummer of a game, and they're going to get to meme on us pretty soon. They've got two strongholds and a swamp. No, say la vie. I mean, we're not effectively built. We're not fast enough to beat this type of deck um, too often, I don't think. And we don't have enough main deck disruption to like take their good cards out of their hands. So I think our hope here, you know, we got punished for missing our land drop. They were able to duress our Liliana out of our hand. No, we're just going to get buried in value here. This was probably going to be, I mean, unless they have Rastus Contempt, I'm, I'm sure they have it in their deck, but whether or not they have it in their hand, I don't know. Uh, but this probably would have been a fairly easy game if we had been able to slam, like, Liliana and start plussing to put any amount of pressure onto the board. These are going to do nothing. I gave him the Dread Shade so we'd have an excuse to use our Chupacabra. This is not the worst top deck, Graveyard, but man... So this this probably or this should hopefully really illustrate the issue that I've talked about in other videos of you make concessions to beat the creature decks like these moment of cravings and then you get super punished when you play against a deck that essentially has no creatures and you draw like three of them in your top sixteen and I might as well have just mulliganed you know twice <laughs> not that I had them in my opening hand but you get the idea. 
they they do so little that it's uh it's almost pointless. Well, at least we're going to be able to take one of their planeswalkers off the board here. I imagine they're going to follow up with a Dreadshade. These Cabal Strongholds are not crazy powerful yet because they've been t holding back their swamps. And I think if I were the opponent, having played a little bit with this archetype, I would have uh, played a swamp by now because four swamps is the cutoff point to make these strongholds profitable. Alright, so one moment of craving in response. This card is probably something that I need to look at and for more black decks, or like the black-red control deck, which has been somewhat poor. Uh, getting stuck on lands was not the plan. We'll probably scoop soon. They're wrathing us here. Does it exile the cards? No, but they're going to be... They're going to get exiled from the third chapter of the scriptures, so the Scarab God doesn't even do anything. Yuck. We don't have any creatures, so take the wrath. Does that work right now? I I kind of was under the impression you could only use the first half of this card because we don't have sideboards. Maybe it lets you go to your collection. I haven't tried playing with it at all. I kind of assumed that wouldn't work. Oh, they got something. It's kind of interesting. If you can just go get, like, any big black spell, it's kind of cool. I might just concede, though, because this player is playing really slowly. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. We're stuck on land. They're going to win. It's absurd. I, I, they're they're going to take forever to win, too, because they're just playing their turn so slowly. So free win for them. We explored like three or four times there and didn't hit any land. Oh no, did we only explore twice? Yeah, we only explored twice. Kept three land. Alright, so this is exactly the type of hand we talked about in the deck tech that we like to uh, beat red with. And though we're keeping only two land, we do have two explorer creatures that will hopefully power us through. They end up with forest, which means they're pretty unlikely to be able to interact with the wild growth walker. Oh, we're ha gonna have to grow this thing so they can't stomp it down. Uh, but yeah, let's play branch walker. I kind of was considering using moment uh, of craving on this, but uh. We might do that next turn. If they don't play something, a dinosaur here and grow it. No, now we don't get the choice. It's fine. Explorers go. If we hit a black source here, we can do it again. Uh, I think graveyard is fine. I don't think we want to draw that. I think we're just going to play Seeker Squire again next turn. Try to find land so we can get Scarab God or uh, Ravenous Chupacabra going. Yeah. I guess they were stuck. That's too bad. Well, at least that was quick. Onward. We 
let's try keeping this on the play too. If we hit, uh, we've got like three looks to find a land. So our draw step, our explore trigger, and then the subsequent draw. And I think if we hit land into Jade Lights, yeah, we're going to be set for cards. Against other green decks, the Chupacabras are really good. Especially if this person's like just mono green. That Necrotal effect is brutal. We're digging for black here, so we'll graveyard that, and we got there. No attacks, but now we get to do runner runner chupacabra. Build our board, get wide. We're kind of close to being able to make this mono green deck. But not that close. Alright. Chupacabra. And we're just going to attack with the 2 1. This way we can double block this Brontodon, and they can only kill one, because it'll be 3 damage being assigned across 4 toughness. So hopefully, well, okay, they have a pump spell. A quote unquote spell. Uh, so no blocks. Because it give trample too. It does not. So I think this turn we're just gonna get wide, wider. And save this chupacabra in case they have like a uh, big twelve twelve or something for us. That's not a bad thing to draw. Uh, I think we swing like this. And offer some trades here. I guess this attack is not so good if they do take the trades. Maybe they're more, it'll induce them to trade because they know the moment's on top. But if they have a Galta in hand, they're not going to want to block because they need the power in play to reduce the cost. Yeah. So th that to me indicates they probably have Galta here, which is fine because we have Chupacabra for it. Oh, Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, so that's a free block. They can only kill one. Hmm. I think we still want a moment this. They can bring it back next turn. But then they're spending their whole turn to do that, and they're going to jam through a lot of damage, but then we'll just uh, Chupacabra the token. Also, just gang block this here. Or 
Or should we just let it go back? Eh, we probably don't want to. Yeah, so we're just gonna let it go black back to seven six. This doesn't give trample. Oh no, we need to block. Uh, I guess we're in the same position. Where we're just gonna have to block it next turn. Uh, these oases are gonna make it tough for us. This thing has trample by itself. Do they have enough for two activations? They don't. So if they activate. Oh, jeez, we got maximum punished for that line. They don't have the mana to do this. We do this, we take one. We do this, we take zero. And they still only get to kill two. So, yeah. Damn, I was going to say we were doing so well. Like, we had a wider board, more lands in play, and more ha cards in hand from the exploring. And uh, then our opponent just goes, Ronis Galton on us. Yeah. And drawing land here is bad, and we're dead. Okay. That Galta is enormous. Uh, on paper, that matchup feels like it's it should be really good, and it just hasn't been. I think I've, this is the second time I played it today, and both games went pretty much the same way, where it, the opponent basically did nothing and then played it at an enormous board that I couldn't deal with. This is a fine hand. We don't have life gain, but we do just have a, a curve out draw. Okay. Oh, I'll lead with the one that can be a bit of a bigger attacker. Nice. It always feels so good when you draw land. There's only like a few situations mid-game where you get really bummed when you hit lands off of these. Graveyard Library So whatever they ramp into We have an answer to it next turn hmm. They ramp into nothing so let's just explore. Explore some more. Uh, drawing that's not too bad. I could even attack with the branch walker here. Because uh, they probably are unlikely to block. Slime foot. Okay. I respect that. So we have Chupacabra this turn. Oh, they just gave up. That's too bad. Did they know we had Brontodon? I mean, maybe they just thought their, their draw was too slow. Alright, well, let's go. We can't drop any games here. Okay, I mean, we're gonna find green. Famous last words, but more likely than not, we'll find green. And uh, these brave soldiers block, especially when they get bigger. Wow. Merfolk. Oh no, green white tokens or something.
We're gonna play like Thalid something or other here. Hmm. Oh, that's refreshing. Seal away? Some kind of green white control deck, maybe? Yeah, okay. That's a fine exchange. Alright, we can library that, and then next turn, simply play two explore creatures, and then we're uh, more or less on track to hit turn six for Aska. We can use to free our. Lonely Branch Walker over here. Okay, they're on some kind of like tap out ramp deck. Gotcha. Nice. I think we want to keep this. I'm pretty worried that they're going to start dropping angels or something on us, and uh, any answer that we have, I find it hard to believe they're playing creatureless green and white. Drover. Well, let's just get a, another uh, person on the board here, another dog on the board. In case they have a third color, I'd, I'd like denying them there. And then we'll see what we want to do with Vraska next turn. Shalai. So we can Vraska and minus on Shalai. Just attack like that. Okay. Very happy that we got some value out of Nebraska. And if we draw into a Brontodon, we get Nebraska back. I'm really tempted to just rip this off the board and swing, but considering they play so many angels, I think we need to chill and wait until we draw, like, anything good. <laughs> yeah. Like, we'd be dead to that card. And we definitely have to remove this before they start going off and making uh, their team huge. Alright, that's a fine top deck. Show us something good. Yeah, I guess we want to draw that. Now, see, the people do this so much online. They love to play their uh, lands and show you they have nothing. I don't really get it. Oh, wow. So we want wits in the graveyard. And I think we're probably just going to play Liliana and plus, plus her here. Cash in that treasure. This can even attack. If they want to double block, I am down to trade. We got Jade Light. So next turn we could really go big. Yeah, well, let's bring back Champion of Woods first. Much rather eternalize it and get the extra cards than bring it back using Liliana. Alright, they give up. 
That's about right. Okay. Keep this speed run going. 25 minutes in, we've done five games. Fortunately, we've lost two of them. But we did a seven win run in like an hour 11 with blue white, and this deck is much faster either way. This is a similar hand before. I'm a little nervous of the these double greens here, but you just gotta believe that you're gonna get there. It's A-Land. Okay, blue works. Works well enough. At least we get to play Champion of Wits next turn. If we need to filter. It looks like we're going to need to. Uh. Hmm. I guess it's Swamp Brontodon. No, oh, maybe it would have been should have been Swamp Jade Light. Since we don't have a second green source. Now this way we get to branch walk next turn. Considering we have so much explore, I felt okay discarding the swamp. It always feels a little wrong, but we're going to need probably a lot of creatures over the course of this game. Ugh. So they're like trying to blow us out here. I think they're trying to. Yeah, we'll do it like this. They're trying to get us a double block. Because if th we had double blocked, then they would have been able to kill this as well. I mean, kudos to them for going for it. We can keep that. We're in the business of just attacking, or s no, not attacking, just blocking any non-suspicious attacks. Even the suspicious ones that we're kind of priced into. Oh, that sucks. And it permanently shrinks the branch walker. So yeah, no more of this nonsense, please. I think we have to make the Brontodon here. And do our exploring next turn. We've shown that we're willing to block. Still, if they swing, I have to be a little nervous that they're just going to Magma Spray and preserve their Chain Whirler. But looking at going to 9... Maybe we can afford to take one swing before we have to seriously think about just letting them have their tricks. Yeah, let's do this then. And hopefully we still get a trade out of it and not just uh yeah. We would have gotten blown out because of the first strike on Chain Whirler. So if we draw into green, we can play the branch walker. That we need, I guess. So we can play that and branch walker next turn. We're pretty committed to blocking here, since they run the full eight, like, hit your face burn spells, it looks like. Yard. 
Yeah, I can't see that actually being enough. Okay. So yeah, we're committed to doing this. Yeah, because we're literally dead if we don't. At least it makes our decisions easy for us. Oh, Moment of Craving is a nice one. So we're going to draw a ton here. Well, I mean, gain a ton. Grow our wild growth walker. Oh, yeah. Library, library. So uh, we're turning the corner a little bit here. We can hold this Moment of Craving. And use it to get this second chain roll off the board. We'll, we'll, we'll declare blocks and see what they do, and then we can... Oh, yes. There you go. So that worked out nicely, and I like that it did, not just because it's it's good to win on video, but because, you know, we made specific deck choices in constructing this to be able to beat that deck. And it's the first time we matched against it, and we we got low. It was sketchy there, but the Wild Growth Walker lets you turn the corner so hard. Like, we gained nine, and the game was just over for them. Opponent goes first. We have a moment and a Seeker Squire, so if they're red deck, I'm not feeling too scared. No no more scared than I would normally be. Uh. I wonder how this mono... Oh, it's not mono green, it's more folk. I was going to say, I wonder how mono green does against... Um, red deck. It's obviously bigger, but red deck has ways of keeping you from blocking... They have all the interaction, like actual red spells that do stuff. Hmm. This is where we need Fatal Push. Okay, here we go. Now I think our best bet is to stick this, grow it next turn, and then start doing interactive stuff. And hopefully we don't get super punished by, like, if they go Lord Lord, then it turns off our moment of craving, and we'll be pretty sad. And then we're going to really need to lean on, like, a Chupacabra or something to help us take the board back. <sighs> Kumena is kind of a punish, too. Mm. I think we just have to Jade Light. And save the moment of craving for next turn. Kill something small. We need land. Okay, that works. So next turn we can like squire and moment or branch walker and moment. They're gonna get to draw their card. But I our goal now is to keep them off five. And dig to any kind of hard removal for Kumena. Kumena's got some funky looking weapons there. Not sure why they have such long... The handle's like up by the axe head, and then the... I don't know. Looks like they're just holding it completely wrong. Uh, I'm not a professional folk artist. I wonder what they're they're considering. I hope that we're not like secretly disconnected. 
It happens sometimes. It doesn't crash, but then it doesn't start roping. Okay. So if they have another Merfolk here, oh, maximum punished. So now we have to... Use the moment of craving in response to their Kamena at end of turn. And take the Misbinder off the board. This is going to be a little tricky. This card just gets so out of hand, and we just didn't have a way to interact with it. We haven't lost. We have time, but every turn that goes by now, we're going to continue to get buried. Okay, they're stuck on land. And it looks, well, if they're attacking here, at least we know they're not antheming the whole team again. Ooh. Scared God's not the worst. Oh, we can't even cast it yet. Okay. Kind of hard to play Liliana here when we can't interact with the speaker. I wish we played, uh, against more red deck. All the green decks are out. And though I, I do feel like when you're playing green deck versus green deck, the one that has black and, like, Frasca's Contempt and Chupacabra should be advantage. We just haven't seen them. Oh, we can still win this one. They're attacking again, but they probably, I mean, they've got five cards, so they're for sure dropping at least two creatures here. Yeah. It's going to get nutty now with the deeper lead, too. Ooh. We're just, like, ripping straight bricks. Maybe this can lightning rod a little bit. No blue, which is a little unfortunate. It's pretty rare that we get to like eight or nine lands like this and we haven't found blue. But the mana base is a little greedy. And I know in the deck tech I talked about maybe swapping in and getting some of the uh, cycling blue-black lands in here. But I haven't made that change yet. I'm playing the list from the deck tech video. They've drawn a lot of cards and missed a lot of land drops. That feels bad. It, it would feel bad if they didn't have a Kumena going, probably. Ooh, 
hey. More or less buys us a turn. So w I think what we want here is to top deck some form of blue mana. Okay, well, I tried. You can't blame a friend for asking. Top decking blue there to play champion, find a second blue. Would have been good. I mean, what I really wanted to top deck was like Chupacabra or Vrasta's Contempt and shut this down. But, you know, given how many cards they've drawn, for sure they have like a second one in hand and they just would have kindly placed it on the board and continued this, I mean, appropriate word, tyranny. Uh, let's let them, let's let them learn their deck. They're playing really slow considering that they have the game pretty much like, completely on lockdown, which makes me think that they just picked this deck up recently, are trying to figure out the interactions, but they can nail us for 10 here if they want to make Kamena unblockable. You know, they can play a Merfolk and grow that stuff even more. Like they, they should be able to win this game in two turns with the number of cards they have in hand, and they're taking their time figuring out how to do it. They might not even be aware of like the first line of text on Kumena because people only think about the draw and the grow all your creatures parts. Oh, no, they grew it. So it looks like they're going to make the play here. And just maybe bash us directly for 12. That would be pretty good. Yep. Okay, they found the line. Oh no. Ugh. I think uh, if I'm in their spot, there's no Chupacabra or anything down here. Like, just ignore the Liliana. Let your opponent continue to break out on draws and just. Like, we have to at, like answer the board that turn if they send both to face we obviously aren't able to, to do. They're tanking on our turn. No attacks. Draw your card. This is too bad. 3-3 three, three is never what you hope for. But we played against a bunch of other mid-range decks and uh our draws just don't line up too well. We don't have anything like this broken in the mid-range matchup. I, well, I guess we do in the form of Scarab God, but we didn't draw blue this game. And it might have been different if we had blue. We would be making attacks and trying to get them to block and then bring stuff back. Dumping stuff into the graveyard with Champion of Wits. Okay. It's a little overkill here. Just win. Just win, friend. You can figure it out. You can do it. You can pick the creature you want to put the counter on. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, they can win. They can win now, right? They double this and make it fly. Click. Target. I guess we have three cards in hand, and they have to be a little worried about that. I think you go for it here, though, either way, right? Wow. Don't go for the win. Oh, we actually get to gain some life here. We need to hit, like, Blue Source into Chupacabra to survive a turn. Blacks, another green source. Alright, so it's, it's trivial. They're going to win next turn. 
I'm they're roping on our turn for whatever reason, so I'm not gonna keep playing that game. Oh no, four four three, so not terrible, but uh just break even and we're trying to get wins, so I think we'll run it back, but we're gonna cut the video here at four three and start another one.